Hi, Jesse here at Tonkadale, and today we're going to make mixed evergreen pots. We're going to start by framing out our container with Norway pine. Norway pine is really sturdy in the cold Midwest regions. It stays greenest, longest of all the greens. So I have pre-cut all of my stems, but please remember, everything that you insert into the rice hulls gets a fresh cut. When I frame out my containers, I kind of like to think about it, think about the boughs as arms. So if you can start kind of like this, moving out like this, so it helps you kind of imagine where the boughs are going to be going. So you need some kind of sticky uppy boughs in the middle. I like to pull the excess needles off the bottom so we have a nice nub to insert into the rice hulls. So that looks pretty good. We can always come back and add more Norway if we see any holes in our design. I'm gonna do one more sticky uppy and then we'll move on to our next green. But an assortment of greens gives you nice texture and color variation. The next green we like to use, this one's called Douglas fir. It smells amazing. I'm inserting them probably at a 45 degree angle. It's okay to give your planters a little hug. Make sure everything is pointing in the direction you would like it to. Next, we're gonna do some silver fur. Again, fur is flat, so you'll see uh, the brilliant silver color on the back side here. And I'm gonna go all the way around. We're gonna be inserting it sideways so we can see that pretty back side. You can see where you may have the hole. You want to make sure it's visually balanced all the way around. Doesn't mean symmetrical, but when you look at it, it feels visually okay. The last screen we're going to use is one of my favorites. It's called flat cedar, also known as western cedar, Port Orford cedar. This one not only smells amazing, it drapes really nicely. And I think it adds some simple elegance to our container. This is gonna be just all around the base. And again, fresh cut. Pull off those extra needles. And instead of inserting right along the edge of the pot, I'm gonna go in a couple of inches. Because if you're right up against the pot, it looks like you're wearing a too tight turtleneck. And that's no fun, not a good look. At this point, you have all your greens stuffed in your container. It's a good idea um, to take some ex an extra measure to keep your greens fresh and use a product like Wiltstop. Wiltstop is a pine resin that coats the needles and holds the moisture in. So now you have some choices about how you want to decorate. Uh, I'm going to pick a winter neutral story. And when you're choosing your decorations, you want to keep your story straight. And I kind of like to pick between three and four elements to add to the greens to keep things focused. Start with some magnolia. I love the copper tones on the back side of the leaf and it goes great with the curly willow. Birch poles are still popular. In order to get some leverage here, you want to maybe bring your pot down to the floor, but I just, I can just climb up on the table. All of these are the same size, they're three feet, but you can just see we can create some varying height based on how far we pound them in. Next, we're gonna do some curly willow. Zip ties are one of my favorite tools. We're gonna zip tie our curly willow to this stick. And there we go. We have our curly willow flaming right up the middle. Other twigs that are used in evergreen pots in general are red dogwood, cardinal dogwood, yellow twig dogwood. There's a green willow. You could go on and on and on. I think twigs just add some visual interest and height and then a nice color addition. Let's get started on the conage. So what we have here are cones on a stick. My pot is only really gonna be seen from the front, so I'm just gonna do the cones around the front of the container. When you're gonna do your decorating, you kind of, you're creating a focal point. I think four is a good number for this container. I 
Lastly, if you want to create some more chunkiness, you can use parts of your birch poles. And all you do is drill a hole in the bottom, insert a bamboo stick with a little glue. That way you can get them in at an angle, to add some movement. So at this point, I think we have a beautiful winter neutral pot that will last us long into the winter. Mm -hmm.